we are going to be talking about what it truly means to be an instinctive actor, right? In our community, all we talk about is instinctive actors. And then sometimes I get people who come in the community, beginners or not. So I'll, I'll hear beginners go, but what does that even mean? Like, what, what is it? And, you know, I, I don't know what that is. Or some people that have been in the business for a very long time that got confused with everything that they've learned when it comes to acting and feel a little bit disconnected. And they're like, I don't even know what that means anymore because I'm so disconnected from myself, right? And so let's first establish one thing together. Um, when you were small or younger and you decided to take on acting and become an actor, um, instinctive actors are probably the reason you started doing that, right? So picture yourself younger watching that one movie that changed your entire life, that impacted your heart, your truth, your being, your everything. Like you watched it and that performance was so beautifully alive so incomparable to anything, so unexpected, so truthful, so in the moment, so everything, like purely alive, that it was not expected. It was didn't feel like the person was acting. It didn't feel controlled. It didn't fe feel technical, methodical. It didn't feel fake. It didn't feel pretend. It felt like you were watching the person who was actually going through something. And that's why it touched you. That's why it impacted you. That's why it came all the way into your heart and did something like on a mythological level. Like it came into you and changed your perspective on the world through their presence and their performance, through their instinct, right? We've all had that one moment where we loved someone per someone's performance and it changed everything. Whether you took on an acting career or whether you've had most recent experiences where an actor moves you so much, they are so incredibly alive, so instinctive, that you leave the movie or the theater and you're like, I'm a new person. I'm not gonna show up in my life in the same way that I did, right? So that is an instinctive performance. It means it is not it is not what you are expecting. It is not what is written in the script. It is not stale. It is not controlled. It is not a learned acting method being displayed in front of you. It is not acting. It is being instinctive in the moment, which means even the actor doesn't know where his performance is going to go because they are actually not acting. They're just being present and being themselves. Right In life, you don't know what you're going to say in the next moment. I don't know what I'm going to say right now. I, I have no idea what little movement I'll make, how I'll say it. If I stay present to the moment, and if I'm not ahead of myself in a method or in a technique to deliver these lines, then the only thing that can show up is my truth, my instinct, what's under all of my control mechanism, all mechanism, all of my conditioning, all of my learned behaviors, all of the stuff that I was told I should be doing in order to behave and be a good person, right? So that's what an instinctive actor does. And it's crucial for stories to be told by instinctive actors because in the same way you watched a performance that, it, that was instinctive and in changed the course of your entire life, that is why stories exist. Stories exist as modern mythology in movies because actors, um, sorry, because people, human beings are wanting to connect through stories so that they get to share information, experiences like, hey, this is what I went through and that's how I maneuvered inside of it. And then I'm watching that story and I can go, oh, wow, that wakes up a part of me that picks me up that inspires me to look at life in a different way, that helps me solve a, pro a problem that I have. It can change my perspective, right? And in order for an actor to have that kind of impact on its audience, the actor needs to tap into their instinct. If they are tapping into a right way to do the scene, great acting, um, 
technical actor acting, method acting, all of the recipes out there that are taught in traditional acting schools, the problem is event. So the reason why we talk a lot about acting first and foremost is for that reason. Because if we're going to tell stories to each other, we're going to tell them from our instinct, from our heart, from our core, from our soul, from our beingness. And every single one of you has a different instinct, right? We, it's not like okay, I'm going to do an instinct training and then I'm, I'm going to be instinctive like everybody else. No, when you do your instinctive training, what happens is that you are finally just yourself. And therefore, when you show up, no one can compare to you. There is no competition, right? So that's, I said, let's just check in something together and agree on something. An instinctive actor, I've been going on for 10 minutes, is the ones that impact you for the rest of your life. So now you are an actor, whether you're starting or you've been at it for, you know, a thousand years, and maybe you've disconnected from your instinct. So how do you get there and why would you want to be an instinctive actor? First and foremost, we've talked about the audience being satisfied and taken care of if you're instinctive. You need to be taken care of and fulfilled when you're acting. If you're going to act from a method if you're going to try and control how the scene goes, if you're going to try and do it right, look good, apply a method and act in a, in a you know very professional way or confident way, none of those things will fulfill you. What will fulfill you in your truth deeply is not to do it right, like going to school and doing the test right. That is not fulfilling. That is playing the game of the culture, of the condition of the conditioning, sorry, of the conditioned culture we're in, right? That is not your truth as an artist. What will fulfill you deeply in your heart, in your soul, in your core, in your entire beingness is to be 100% you. Nothing else will satisfy you deeply. Sure, you may get some instant gratification and long-term disaster, if you book something because you tried to look good and you might book a small role like that, you'll never book something consistent like that, something big and juicy that will come back to you because, because you're not there, right? So if you're really, truly instinctive and in the moment, it is the only way to satisfy you as a human being, as an artist, because you're actually experiencing yourself in the moment. If you're not going to experience yourself, you're going to experience like a method or a technique or an, you know, acting structure method thing in eight points. That is just regurgitating a math recipe like at school. None of that is satisfying for you as an artist or even as a being. That's just being a good person, a, a, a good behaviored child. That's what it is. So first of all, you are fulfilled when you're instinctive because you are being you in such a free and truthful way. First. The second thing that happens, which is really crucial, is when you're instinctive, the casting director, director, producer, whatever, when they watch your table, when they see you in an audition room, if that ever happens again, um, they are not seeing you act a scene. They are not seeing you fit the part or not. They are seeing you. And why is that crucial? And if there's one thing you're going to remember about this life, remember this part only. If you are instinctive, it means you are free. It means you are truthful. It means you're in the moment. It means you're unique and no one can be like you because they don't have your instinct. They see you. Not you as do you fit the part? Will you do the job? No, no. They see beyond that because they see your humanity. And why is that crucial? Why is this the only thing that you want to remember from this life? Because if they really truly see you, they will think of you for other roles. Because no one comes in the room being 
truthfully, authentically, freely instinctive. It's so rare. Just turn on any show. Everyone acts well. Everyone does the job. Does anyone move you? One out of a hundred, a thousand. One. It is the hottest and the rarest commodity for anyone nowadays to just be themselves, to just be instinctive. So you really want to put all of your attention on your instinct because when you show up like that on your tape or in the audition room and you are in your instinct, you're tapped into your instinct, not into I want to look good, not into I want to book this, not into I want to be confident, not into I don't want to feel any fear. You're just in your instinct, whatever that means in the moment, and you bring that to the part, they see a human being and it's so magnetic that casting will want to grab you right there, even if you don't fit the part. They will rewrite the part for you. They will change the age for you. They will change the gender for you. They will take the, they will change the race, the accent, the story, anything. If you're in your instinct, when casting sees you or a director sees you, they will do everything they can to work with you because they saw you, right? And it, it, there is nothing that can beat you. What in the world could you possibly do that beats what nature planted inside of you, which is your instinct? Do you think an acting method or technique in eight points can, can be better than that? Can be more alive, more interesting? No, it cannot. It's delusional to think that there's anything out there taught by some person who's called an acting teacher or a mentor, mentor will be better than your instinct. It's impossible. Nature gave you an instinct. So the conclusion of this whole topic is, and the good news, is you were born with it. Everyone is an instinctive actor. That's the truth. The truth is you already are an instinctive actor. The truth is you could tape or go to an audition for one role and they would consider you for five because you are an instinctive actor. So why does that not happen? Because you've got something that is on top of your instinct, which is called resistance, which is called conditioning. And the reason for that is because you've been raised that way. You've been educated to behave to feel what you're told, to speak like you're told, to sit when you're told, to pee when you're told, to eat when you're told, to think what you're told, to be like others. You've been raised to be like others. You've been raised to behave. You haven't been raised to be yourself. When were you ever invited and encouraged to have your own opinions and your own emotions? Probably when your parents said, go to your room. <laughs> right? That's when you're encouraged. When you'll be out of here, when you're 18, then you can do whatever you want. For now, you listen to me and you do what I'm telling you. That's how we're raised. That's our culture, right? It's changing, but it's going to take some time. So that is what instinct will give you. What instinct gives the audience is breakthrough performances that affect lives, that actually nourish the audience, that actually connect the audience and the artist, which is why we have mythology and stories in the first place. What they do for you is that you actually feel fulfilled. You're not depleted at the end of the day when you act from instinct because you're not faking anything. You're not manipulating anything. You're not using substitutions. You just are there raw in your element. Like when you were little, preconditioning. When you were a child, you were instinctive all the time. And then little by little, the walls built around you because they had to. Because you were told to behave, to do, you know, again, to feel what you're told, to think what you're told, to move like you're told, etc. So <coughs> the audience is happy because you're instinctive. You're happy because you're instinctive. The casting is beyond happy because you come in with one tape and they can put you anywhere they want because it's so rare. It's so freaking hot to be instinctive that they will want to put you somewhere. In our community, we have the craziest stories happening to, to actors who are showing up instinctively. They are cast for things they were not asked to come in for all the time. 
for someone who's half your age, for someone who's another race, for someone who's another gender. They will want to work with you. Everybody's happy. You, the audience, and the team. Because you're facilitating their job, basically. So that is what being an instinctive actor truly is. It's win-win-win. All right, so I hope this makes sense. If you are interested in getting your instinct back on um, working through your conditioning, working through all the resistance that you have around you, um, and getting back into that truth and that freedom and that humanity, that full aliveness that only you have, so that you can enjoy yourself, so that you can connect in the casting. Um, uh, that's it, I lost the word. In the casting moment, or step of the project in a beautiful way and so that you can actually impact the audience which is why you're doing this in the first place and which is why they are sitting down and watching you in a profound way if that makes sense if you're like yes i've been trying everything every method out there all i want is my instinct back my truth you already have it all you have to do is work through the resistance and then muscle that instinct back up so if that is interesting to you Get in touch with us, send us a DM, let us know that you're interested, not in the comments in the live because I won't, we won't see them, but send, send us a direct message and then we can send you some information. On the top of the, um, the link in the bio or in the about section or in the comments on YouTube, you can find a free training called try to stop, no stop trying to be a good actor so you have a chance of being great and um, <coughs> that will already help you. But if you're just sure, you're like, okay, yeah, this is the shit, this is what I wanna do, cause I'm the shit, then please get in touch with us and we will send you some information on how you can show up this way. All right, thank you guys, ciao.